Hey guys, welcome to the top editor extensions for February, March 2018. So number one is something called Folder Creator and this allows you to easily create folders within Unity and it doesn't just mean that you can create folders directly in the editor which would go into say just the assets folder of your Unity um, sort of package, you can create folders anywhere and it just allows you to do that. Number two is the Color Picker Utility. So this allows you to easily pick a color from Unity without you having to switch to other programs and sort of stuff out. You can go by hex code, color and RGB just for ease of access to sort of easily go to one little window which you can dock somewhere if you're changing a lot of um, color and palette sort of values throughout your game and you can copy those values really easily and it'll just save you time in the long run. The next one is something called scene manager utility and this is allows you to easily have another menu which just pops um, onto another window and it allows you to manage everything and all the scenes that you might have open and close scenes delete scenes duplicate apply bulk action and, and adjust settings without you having to search through folders and look well where did i put this scene or well, you know where do i need to go from there you just get a selection of uh, what the scenes you have and bulk actions to do with those scenes so this might be another utility that really helps you out and the next one is called something called block out light and this allows you to um, essentially just block out areas and it's a collection of prototyping tools for Unity which speed up the creation of mockups and testing and it allows you to build just a selection of simple um, geometry with prefabs and just allows it to be expandable and simple it comes with 132 assets ranging from various polygons and it allows you to uh, with special transform controls grid snapping uh, a ruler and loads of different ways to just snap things together so you can get a basic layout of your scene really easily and the next one is multi-edit tools and this is um, a cool script which has a bunch of tools integrated and as it suggests in the description uh, if you want to rename a thousand objects at once you can do that maybe you want to uh, rename a specific just child object or even partially rename something you can create um, and revert multiple copies of a prefab at once you can remove rigid bodies from as many objects as you need to it's just got a lot of functionality built in and it might be something which you want to add to your scene to allow you to just bulk edit objects just on the fly without you having to click through individually if you've got a lot of the same asset the next one which is quite a cool one is called shift move clone objects and similar to how you would in a 3d program like 3ds max you hold shift and then you move your movement gizmo and then you will be able to duplicate an object and it works quite well in a 3d program things like unity you press ctrl d usually to duplicate and if you're just on the move tool anyway this might be one way you can hold shift and you just move it across and you duplicate it really easily so then you get things in little increments and it might be quite good for you and another one is pro builder which was recently bought by unity which is another really powerful asset for blocking out and modeling even doing uvs and things like that and it's one that you really want to check out and download because it's a really was a really popular asset and it will continue to do so in all versions because unity have purchased it just so that everybody has access to it because it's a really great tool the next one is substance in unity and this is a plugin for Unity which allows you to access Substance Source and, and have a Substance Paint live link so you can work with your games and easily integrate Substance Source which is a, an, a sort of library of a thousand, thousand plus high quality PBR textures and the Substance Painter link is allows you to create a, a connection between Substance Painter and the Unity viewport to allow streamlined sort of experience and real time updates depending on what you're trying to edit within Substance Painter so this might be one for you if you're into using Substance Painter like I am. Another great one is something called ProGrids which, which was again purchased by Unity recently and it allows for like the other assets for quick prototyping this allows you to snap game objects by specific increments by grids and snapping and you can get the objects and you can quickly just iterate on a scene snap it all together and it can really help you out this is yet another one that i have mentioned before in a video it's called polybrush and, and again this was bought by unity recently and this again is an asset similar to zbrush sculptress and things like that and it allows you to paint sculpt blend textures with vertex painting 
quite easily within Unity so you don't have to go to a different program similar to how you would on a terrain but you don't have to use a big terrain it can be just a 3d object that you've specified yourself and this I think this is a quite a good one it's called consistent line endings and this one allows you to you sometimes get an annoying suggestion by a visual studio or something that your line endings are not consistent and you need to sort of press yes and then resave it and this one allows you to do it normally um, you know without you having to do anything it'll just convert your line endings for you it requires no extra work so if you're looking to just get rid of that annoying error this might be one for you and the last but not least is something called selectability and this allows you to have hierarchy selections with an editor extension where you can right click on um, a game object and then you can easily um, select the parent, the root, the uh, child, sibling, whatever it needs to be. As you can see down here, you can right click on anything in the inspector and select things really easily. So you could select all the children of one particular asset or something like that, or the things that depend on other assets, which don't allow you to have to hold control or shift to select all of the objects below. So this again, all these editor extensions are really great for just saving you time. So check out all these fantastic editor extensions for February, March, 2018, and be sure to thank all the developers for putting the times into making these assets, and of course, for making them free. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.